Yesterday evening, I got a text from Eli Lilly with some exciting news. Zetbound savings card will roll back to $5.50 per month in the new year. Welcome back to The Downsized. I'm Christopher Durham. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any updates from us. So as I said, yesterday evening while I was cooking dinner, I got the text from Eli Lilly. And let me tell you, this is some big news. After a steep price hike, had many of us worried, users can finally breathe a sigh of relief. The $5.50 per month discount card price, which jumped to $6.50 in August, won't continue in the new year and will return to $5.50 instead. Now, this certainly isn't the price drop that we'd all like to see. I'd love to see it under $100, under $200, but this is a step forward and we're happy to see at least that $100 decrease on the discount card. But here's the catch. This savings card will only last for six more months, with savings available through June 30th, 2025. After that, it remains to be seen whether Lilly will release a new discount card or if prices will go up again. As part of my adventure, I've used Eli Lilly's Zepbound and Manjaro, as well as compounded terzepatide along the way. I've lost over 80 pounds, and I'm currently using the 15 milligram dose of Zepbound. These medications have played a huge part in my success. Together with my wife, Lorraine, we've lost 130 pounds using these medications. But let's be honest, they are not cheap. And Eli Lilly's price changes have made it anything but easy. So back in August, Lilly announced lower prices for the starting dose vials of Zepbound. They released the vials, which was so long coming. They released the 2.5 milligram vials, which now cost $399 per month, and the five milligram vials, which now cost $549 per month, both cash prices, a big drop from the original $1,060 price tag. This is a self-pay option, meaning that if you have a prescription and your insurance does not cover Zepbound, you can still buy directly from Eli Lilly at Lilly Direct. But while Lilly was patting themselves on the back on press junkets for those new vial prices, they quietly raised the price of Zepbound pens for people without insurance coverage from $550 to $650 per month, a 20% increase. The backlash from the GLP-1 community was quick, and we were not happy, with many saying there was no rational reason for this other than greed. Fortunately, Lilly has adjusted the savings card again. If you qualify, you can now pay $550 per month, but only until June 30th, 2025. After that, well, it's anyone's guess what happens next. Just like in years past, there are two paths which come in the ZetBound Savings Program. If your insurance covers ZetBound, you can pay as little as $25 per month for a one-month, two-month, or three-month supply. Here's how it works. A one-month supply is 28 days and up to four pens. A two-month supply is 56 days and up to eight pens. And a three-month supply is 84 days and up to 12 pens. The savings card offers $150 per month for a one-month fill, $300 for a two-month fill, and $450 per month for a three-month fill. The maximum annual savings is $1,950 per year, and you can use the card for up to 13 fills per year. Of course, participation requires a valid HIPAA authorization, and Lilly reserves the right to change or cancel the program without notice at any time. This path's card expires at the end of next year, December 31st, 2025. The second path, if your insurance does not cover that bound, the savings card brings your cost down to $550 per month. But there are limits. You can only use the card for seven refills per year, and your savings are capped at $3,941 per calendar year. This version of the savings card expires on June 30th, 2025, so it's really only good for six months, so seven refills should be good for you. Hopefully by the time this expires, they have a new card, lower prices, more vials, who knows. However, you are not eligible for this savings card if you are enrolled in any state, federal, or government-funded healthcare program, including, but not limited to, Medicaid, Medicare, Medicare Part D, Medicare Advantage, Medigap, DOD, VA, TRICARE Champus, or any state prescription drug assistance program. 
Before I move on, I want to take a moment and appeal to Eli Lilly, to the state and federal officials, to Bernie Sanders, to whoever it takes to resolve this problem with the pricing for ZepBound and Manjaro for people on these government programs, Medicaid, Medicare, or I read the whole list. They are simply out in the cold. They are simply without this medication because they cannot afford it and they are not eligible for these discount cards. I don't know what the numbers are there, but it's a huge number of constituents, a huge number of voters, a huge number of patients solve this problem. And be careful. If your insurance forces you into an alternative funding program, you might lose access to the savings card. These programs can be tricky. So it's important to keep an eye on what your insurance is doing. We've been through these ups and downs ourselves, so we know how frustrating this process can be. But having access to programs like these savings cards can make all the difference in staying on track with your health goals. If you want to learn more about these savings programs, we'll drop the link to the full terms and conditions in the description below so you can review everything and make sure you stay eligible. Now, I want to stop for a moment and appeal to Eli Lilly and say this is a good move. You, you, raising it to 650 with the last card was clearly a mistake. It was a nightmare for a lot of patients. But the next great move would be ensuring that you have enough capacity to fill all the prescriptions and ensuring that you have enough capacity to lower your prices. We want to take your medications we believe in ZepBound. We believe in Manjaro. Honestly, we love the innovation. We want you to be successful and profitable, but we also don't want to feel like we're being taken advantage of. It's certainly supply and demand, and it's certainly your patent. Now work with us. Help us be healthier. Help us weigh less and we'll be loyal patients for life. That's it for today's update. This adventure isn't always easy, but with the right tools and information, we can keep making progress. Before I wrap up, I want to remind everyone that I'm not a doctor, not an insurance agent, not a pharmacist, not an attorney. The information I share here on The Downsized is based on my personal experiences and Lorraine's personal experiences and our research and publicly available data. Always consult with a licensed healthcare professional before starting, stopping, or making any changes to your medications or treatment plans. What works for me might not work for you, so it's important to get medical advice tailored to your specific needs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Make sure to join us each week uh, for the Downsized Live. This week will actually be Wednesday night at 7 Eastern Standard Time, where we take questions. We're live here on YouTube, and we talk to the community. I'm sure this will be one of the subjects that comes up. If you haven't already, make sure you go to our website, downsized.org sign up for our, sign up for our email list so we stay in touch with you as always i'm christopher durham and we are the downsized mm -hmm.